Hey, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Don from The Don Show, and I'm back with another episode of my review and commentary on my favorite music videos. All right, so I found out today that uh, one of my favorite artists, favorite rappers, just favorite star in general, uh, Kid Cudi, is getting ready to release Man on the Moon Trilogy, which will be coming out December 11th. And honestly, I'm really excited. Like, I, I can't express to y'all how excited I am because number one, <laughs> I am from Cleveland, Ohio, born and raised. That's my home. That's that's heart right there. You know what I mean? Like, I started my career and grew up my, my whole childhood. It's Cleveland, Ohio all day. That whole lifestyle, playing football, running track, listening to music. Um, and growing up in high school, everybody was like really coming out of their shell about being an artist and a creator. And to find out to find out about Kid Cudi growing up was really, really dope. Like, you know, I didn't know him personally, but like, you know, in the streets of Cleveland, when it comes to arts and rap and music and stuff like that, your name gets around, you know what I'm saying? So to see him where he started and where he is now, it's just like, I respect him because he had been through so much, his journey. And anybody that's a Kid Cudi fan, and, and you too, if y'all are a big fan of Kid Cudi, please let me know your thoughts about him coming out with this, uh, this CD, because I can't wait. And it's funny, you can see how old I am, because I'm like, I'm talking about CDs. <laughs> but, but for real, for real, like, seeing where he started at, listening to his first mixtape, seeing him, you know, going to tour, concert, and coming out of Cleveland, that was a big deal. People making out of Cleveland, it's like a very big deal for our culture in Cleveland, Ohio. So I was happy and I already loved his music. The first song for me that really hit me, um, one of them was definitely Day and Night. Like I used to put that song going on repeat. I used to just, I used to put it on repeat. I just listen to it, I just zone out. I was just going my zone. And then, you know, even before that, I believe Man on the Moon um, I ain't gonna sing it because, you know, I don't want to get blocked or anything like that, but Man on the Moon was one of my tracks as well. It was definitely different, and but I just love the track, and that was the thing. I love artists that come out with something different that makes them who they are. Kid Cudi gave you that every single time, and I feel like to see Kid Cudi, what he has done in the music world, he has really changed the game. He became that star. And then not only that, he started doing TV shows, he started doing movies, he really started showcasing his skills. And of course, y'all already know that he was working with Kanye West, he was working with uh, Travis Scott, he was working with so many people. But Kid Cudi really brought his signature to the culture of hip hop. He really did, and it became something else. It was like listening to his music was his signature to the culture of hip hop, he really did, and it became something else. It was like listening to his music was listening to an artist in a scientific lab, and you went into his world, and you got lost, and you can see the comments now on his Instagram, people talking about, I am so ready to cry, I'm ready to cry and listen to your music, because Kid Cudi gave you that feeling from day and night, pursuit of happiness, um, I mean so much, and like the style that we carry in our music, you can tell, and if you grew up listening to Kid Cudi in Cleveland, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But every time Kid Cudi showcased himself on somebody else's music, you knew it was him. He had that that humming, that hmm, like you know, he had that hum that really was just like, oh God, Kid Cudi's here. Oh, I'm ready to, I'm ready to get into my emotions. I'm ready to get into that zone. And for me, I am an artist, so. When I listen to certain music, it really lets me tap into my creativity. And when I put on Kid Cudi, I don't have to be under no influence. I would just be under influence of just music. And a lot of people really was connecting with Kid Cudi because of the fact that like he battled with so much mental health wise. And you know, and a lot of us that was fans wanted just for him to get better because you don't want to see nobody go through those things, you know. Kid Cut has gave us so many things, man. Like it's it's just so amazing to kind of hear that he's coming out with something. I'm truly excited, and I and I hope this album definitely comes out December 11. I know it's been hard for creators to drop thing anything on time because of the pandemic, but if this album really does come out. December 11 is going down. Now before that, before he came out with this album being released, 
you know, he had did something with Eminem. That track was crazy. Then, before that, I believe he came out with something with Travis Scott, which was showcased on Fortnite. Listen, when I heard Kid Cudi's voice, I went crazy. Like, I just started jumping up and down. My head started bouncing left and right. I mean, I was just in my room, in my zone. And I was like, oh yeah, it's over with. Like, anytime I heard Kid Cudi on a track, I was losing my mind. The other song that really did it for me was Heart of the Lion, uh, soundtrack to my life. That was crazy too. Um, Sky My Fall, oh goodness. And if I was in a bad mood, Mr. Solo Dolo. And I, what I was hearing about the album was, I believe there's a part two to Mr. Solo, like to Solo Dolo. Oh listen, I'm telling you like this, I can't wait for this album to come out. Like I'm definitely about to zone out. Now I'm a big Kid Cudi fan, so Kid Cudi years ago, years ago i think i was still living in cleveland at the time right so kid cuddy had this one short film he had a short film where he was like a uh like he was just going around like you know uh murdering people like he was just like this killer and it was just crazy and i was just like oh snap like you know he's just going around just killing people it's like a short film it was a crazy short film but for me, I wasn't surprised that Kid Cudi would make something like this. Why? Because Kid Cudi always came off different. Like there was, even in the beginning of his career, Kid Cudi was always different. And Kid Cudi always brought that uh, to the table when he was creating. So seeing him make short films, seeing him do acting, see him get in his bag and do all these things, like for me as a fan, I was never surprised. I was just only excited because I just wanted something that said Kid Cudi on it. And now that December 11th this album coming out, um, if you haven't seen the album cover, it should be right here. So, seeing this album cover come out and seeing like the playlist coming, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, it is about to be crazy. This trilogy is about to be nasty, and I can't wait. You you never know. So I really hope that this album comes out on time, and I know that like y'all see how excited I am because these are my true actual opinions about listening to Kid Cudi music. Like he puts you in the zone. Like you don't even have to be influenced. Now some people will be under influence, facts. But <laughs> but for me, I don't even need none of that. All I really need is my amp, turn all the way up, put on the Kid Cudi track and zone out. And even before I was even doing this video review, I was listening to Kid Cudi just because, because like he really gets me in my zone. And I mean, every video, if you think about it, every video that Kid Cudi has actually created, it was always different. It always was a vibe. It was always giving you something to feel. And and I just I just know that this is gonna really be interesting seeing this album come out because we don't know what to expect. But we expect one thing is for Kid Cudi to be Kid Cudi. And it's really, it's really good to see him uh, come back and give us an album that we all been waiting for. And I really hope that his mental health is like, is better because you never wanna see an artist and a creator um, in that space. But when we do go into that space and somebody like Kid Cudi, we come out with something crazy. And not crazy in a bad way, but in a way of just like, wow, what a story that was. So we really about to get his story. And you know he's gonna get, y'all know Kid Cudi fans, you already know that he's gonna come with some creativity. The man is creative, it's crazy. Like, the things that he's done, mind blowing. So, yeah, I can't wait. So let me ask you this. Um, what are your, some of your favorite songs coming from Kid Cudi? Now, I can make a, I can do a whole list on here. We'll be here for like 20, 30 minutes talking about it. Um, but I just wanna kinda know, like, what are some of your favorite music videos and some of his uh, dopest collaboration? because um, he had a couple collaborations with Travis Scott. That was crazy. Every time, and I feel like, no disrespect to Travis Scott, because Travis Scott is an amazing artist, but I felt like Kid Cudi was like his big brother when it came to the music. Like, not trying to little, little bro Travis Scott, but it was just like, when Kid Cudi got on that track, you could just feel like the, the big brother of Kid Cudi coming into the room. It's the same way how we feel when Andre 3000 you know, pops up on a, a song. You hear Andre 3000 is in the studio or you hear him that he's 
you know, uh, collaboration on the song featuring. It's like Big Brother Andre 3000 is in the building. I've always felt like when Kid Cudi came in the room, he wasn't the little brother, he was the big brother coming in the room because at the time that Kid Cudi came out with his music, he was changing the game. Like, we was always getting a hardcore rap. We was always getting a conscious rap. Kid Cudi came with something that was like, from the moon for real. Like, you heard Kid Cudi, you, was, you thought you was on the moon after that. Like, you didn't know to put Cudi as a, a rock star, uh, electronic, you don't even know what to give him. So I just said, hey, that's just Kid Cudi. Like, for me, that's what I always just say. I'm like, yo, that's just Kid Cudi, man. That's what he brings. And if Kid Cudi doesn't bring that, you know, I don't, I don't know what else he's gonna bring because what he's bringing is really his whole style and swag. Like he, and from Cleveland, we were so used to seeing that. We like, yeah, that's Cuddy. Like, you know, the people that was rocking with him growing up, like we knew, we was like, yo, that's Cuddy, man, here he come. He about to come with that flow. He about to make you feel like you under the influence or something. But I just wanna know y'all, what are some of your favorite tracks from Kid Cuddy? Now, if you're somebody that does not listen to Kid Cudi, you don't even know who I'm talking about, you just watch my videos because you're showing me love and you're supporting me, I love you for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, whoever you are that's watching this and you don't even know who Kid Cudi is, let me do you a favor. I want you to listen to this album. I'm gonna give you this album. I want you to listen to Man on the Moon, The End of Day, okay? Get the expand version so you can listen to the music and also watch the videos. But I'm telling you like this, that album, I feel like that would be a good setup for you, in my opinion. So I know my Kid Cudi fans on there are like, no, put them on to this. I mean, there were so many bangers on Man on the Moon in the day. Like, like y'all know this. Like, this album right here, this album right here, had bangers on it all day. Like, you can really go through this album and sit back and chill. He gave you everything. He took me back to Cleveland. Like, I had moved out of Cleveland and was like looking for a new place to live. And when I moved out of Columbus, all I played was Kid Cudi. Like, soundtrack to my life, come on. Like, that album was crazy. Like, I got it right here. Like, soon as I'm done with this, I'm about to put this on. Like, <laughs> that's why it's, it's getting ready to press play as soon as I get done finishing this video. So, my review on that is, listen to this album before December 11 comes out. But if you had a chance to, just listen to all his music. Think about all the futures he has done. Welcome to Heartbreak, that's just one. Travis Scott, all the Travis Scott's uh, features that he have done. Like, he got a track, Frequency. He got the other track with Andre 3000. He have a track with Pharrell. He has a track with so many people out here and Kid Cudi influence on there is all over it. So, yeah. If you want to listen to an album right now, right, right now, like as soon as you get done watching this video, I would definitely say, I feel like you should definitely check out Man on the Moon, End of Day. Check that out. Let me know your thoughts. But what is your album that you refer people to listen to if they haven't listened to Kid Cudi? Think about that. Who would you have them listen to? Like, yeah, Q100 with me. Who you gonna have them listen to as soon as they say they don't know who Kid Cudi is, what track you gonna play? For me, if, if I have to have a track for people to listen to they never heard Kid Cudi, it would be day and night, in my opinion. Now, if I'm in Cleveland and I got somebody talking about they're not a fan of like Cleveland uh, rappers that have made it out, I would put on Higher with them featuring Chip the Ripper. If you never heard Higher Chip the, featuring Chip the Ripper on uh, Kid Cudi's album, Man on, Man on the Moon, End of day, if they never heard it, I'm putting that track on. But I will say, day and night is the track I'm going to put on. If nobody has told me, if someone said to me, I never heard K. Cuddy, that's cool. I'm putting on day and night. I'm putting on day and night. Plain and simple. All right, y'all. So, that is my thoughts and review today. My commentary on K. Cuddy. Don't forget, y'all. Man on the Moon Trilogy, The Chosen. It's on its way out December 11. Check out the artwork on his Instagram. People are talking about it right now. We are all excited. I am excited. I just gave y'all a very long video because I am excited. And um, yeah, let's get it. Shout out to the Cuddy fans. I see y'all. Shout out to Cleveland. Shout out to Ohio. You know what I'm saying? Love y'all. Take care. And everybody else in the world that loves Kid Cuddy, shout out to you. Hope you're safe. Hope your mental is safe as well. Uh, but yeah. 
I'm out of here, y'all. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, make sure you leave a comment, and check out my description because I will absolutely have links for you to check out his videos and his music, where to find his work, all right? I'm out of here, y'all. Time to eat. Peace.